Thanks to Little People Big World, Matt Roloff and his family have built a television empire while giving viewers a candid look at their lives and farm adventures. After 16 years spanning 23 seasons, several specials, and a spin-off show, it looks like the show isn't going anywhere soon. Since the dynamics within the Roloff family are constantly changing, let's see what they have been up to. The Roloff's farm has been a character of its own, hosting family weddings and serving as the backdrop for the family's annual fall photo. Unfortunately, the farm's expansive property has also caused friction within the family, and at the center of it all is the family patriarch, Matt. Last season, Matt feuded with his son Zach over the farm after the two failed to reach an agreement regarding its sale. On May 16th, Matt took to Instagram to thank his fans for their support, as well as provide background on why exactly he made the decision to sell a portion of the farm. He mentioned that his two eldest sons, Zach and Jeremy, decided to move on from their dreams of owning the land. My twin boys decided not to consider working together toward a possible joint sale. Both of them had moved on to other interests and investments. Adding, and even though a substantial family discount and a gift of equity was offered by both Amy and I, they decided individually that the timing was not right for them to purchase a part of the farm at this time. Matt captioned the post with a photo of the family's main home, which is part of the sale. However, in a since-deleted comment, Zach disputed his father's claims, clarifying, Matt Roloff, this post is extremely misguided and false. My dad is manipulating the narrative right before the season comes out. Once again, like he has for most of his life, not taking responsibility for his actions and blaming others. Dragging the family drama that he created, and then manipulating the fanbase to make himself come out okay. This post is a new shocking low of cowardice and manipulation of his family and kids for his own gain. Matt and his ex-wife Amy had intended to pass down the farm to their four children so that they would run the family business in the future. Matt put the property on the market in May 2022 for a whopping $4 million, whereas Amy sold the land to him for $975,000 just two years ago, more than triple the price. And the sale of the farm has been a major point of contention for the Roloffs, including the twins who are not on good terms ever since. Zach later revealed that he and his father have made up and regretted venting out. I think it was a mistake to put it on social media, but I think I made my thoughts pretty clear, he said, explaining that he and his wife Tori are moving on. Despite their rocky relationship, the Roloffs came together when Matt's father Ronald died at 84 on July 31, a year after being diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. A sad week for the Roloff family, Matt wrote on Instagram, My dad, affectionately known as Papa, to his 10 grandchildren and his 10 great-grandkids, peacefully went home to be with his lord and savior yesterday evening. Amy tied the knot with her husband Chris Merrick on August 28, 2021, at Roloff Farms, where she lived for decades with her ex-husband and family. The couple went to Italy to celebrate their first anniversary and Amy shared many photos of their European adventure. Posting a romantic photo from their wedding album, Amy pinned the sweetest message for her husband, writing, One year ago today, I said I do to this man. I love you, Chris Merrick, my love, my partner, my friend. Today and my tomorrows, I'm happy I'm on this life journey with you. I love our story. Amy loves showing off her culinary skills with her millions of followers and often shares videos of her homemade recipes. She has also ventured into coffee production, aptly called Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, which is a delicious blend of responsibly sourced beans and roasted locally in Oregon, as per her Instagram. Following an explosive farm drama with his father, Zach and his wife Tori moved to their $1 million Washington home last October, which is set on a two-acre lot and has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. From an open concept floor plan and a large kitchen to a wooden fireplace and heated floors, the house is quite a catch and a great fit for Zach's ever-expanding brood. The reality couple welcomed their third child, Josiah, on April 30th. Zach took to Instagram and commemorated the special occasion, writing, Josiah Luke Roloff was born April 30, 2022. He came about two weeks early, but we were ready. Super happy for our family, and the kids adore him already. Very proud of Tori as well. She has done incredible. Zach and Tori also share two other children, five-year-old son Jackson and two-year-old daughter Lila. Like their father, all three kids were born with achondroplasia, the most common form of dwarfism. Jackson underwent leg surgery last December to correct the bowing in his legs that will hopefully slow down the growth and allow the bones to even out. But the surgery is not an overnight fix, and it will take about four or five years to see the results. 
Jeremy made a similar move to his twin brother and purchased a new $1.5 million Oregon farm with his wife Audrey. The 1979 built two-story farmhouse, which is just a seven-minute drive from Roloff Farms, boasts four acres of green hills and picturesque mountain views. The property holds precious memories for the couple, as its expansive patio offers an incredible view of the Trestle Bridge, where the couple got engaged in 2015. Jeremy has been relentlessly working on the Spring River Cabin for several months, which has become a huge project for the TLC star. Audrey, who previously slammed her father-in-law for causing the death of their dream, confirmed the purchase of their new abode via Instagram, saying she and Jeremy were ready to create their dream home. We've got a lot of work to do to bring our vision to life, but Jer and I are excited to finally have some space to get our feet dirty, literally, and bring our dreams of using land into reality. The house comes with four bedrooms and four bathrooms, offering plenty of room for the 32-year-old star's growing family. Jeremy and Audrey, who are already parents to daughter Ember Jean and son Bode James, experience parenthood for the third time with the arrival of their son Radley Knight on November 8. Radley had an in-call birth, which is a rare event where a baby is born inside an intact amniotic sac. Molly Roloff Silvius swapped the farm for a quiet life in a Washington town. The former reality star currently lives in a stunning home with her husband Joel and their daughter who was born last December. According to Molly's LinkedIn, she currently works as a senior accountant in the external reporting division at Nordstrom. Molly and Joel purchased their home in Spokane in 2018, two years after they graduated. The 2,688 square foot property is a one-story ranch style home with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a two-car garage. Even though she no longer stars on the show, Molly is close to her family off-screen. The 29-year-old appeared on her father's Instagram when he posted their photo in July. Spent the morning visiting my beautiful daughter Molly and her husband Joel in Spokane, Washington. Matt captioned the post. Molly's mom also visited her home earlier this Easter. She shared photos from her trip on Instagram, showing the family cooking together and going for walks in nature with their dogs. Matt and his youngest son, Jacob, once had a contentious relationship, but they seem to have repaired it over the years. With all the tension going on with the roll-offs, it looks like Jacob, who works on property maintenance, might be the only one of Matt's kids to help him with this year's pumpkin season. Matt has nothing but praises for Jacob after he fixed an issue that drastically impacted last year's pumpkin season. When your son installs the absolute perfect shallow gutter drain, with virtually zero instructions, you dance the happy dance. Matt captioned a recent Instagram post. But it's not just his handy skills that call for a celebration. Jacob became a dad for the very first time. His wife, Isabel Rock, gave birth to their son, Mateo, in early December. While the new parents are over the moon with their bundle of joy, they've decided not to share the photos of their son's face on social media out of respect for his privacy. Jacob moved closer to Roloff Farms last October, before the birth of his son. Since leaving the show, Jacob keeps his private life away from the spotlight, but often shares its snippets on social media. The 25-year-old has been heavily invested in creating a cannabis farm and regularly uploads photos of his cannabis plants. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.